In the 17 and 1800s, transportation was by mule and wagon. The weekly trips into town were to pick up supplies not grown on the farm. Much of the food in those days was grown on the farm or was traded with neighbors. One such story dates back to the 1700s, although the exact date and the name of the girl has been lost. A young girl, maybe in her 20s, was preparing for a trip to the neighboring farm. It had been an uneventful day, and as one of the farmhands prepared her buggy, her family had killed several hogs, and she was going to take some fresh meat to the neighboring farm, not knowing this would be her final ride. As her buggy rumbled down the old dirt road, dust billowing up behind it, her thoughts were on her gentleman friend she was going to see the next day. Not paying too much attention to the road, as she neared the old wooden bridge, she did not see the trench that was made by the heavy rains the night before. As the wheel hit the trench, she was thrown from her seat as one of her feet was caught inside. As she hung helplessly to the outside of the buggy, her head beating against the wheel until she was dead. Her foot eventually came loose and she rolled into the ditch on the side of the road. The neighbors were not expecting her, so she wasn't missed for many hours. As the evening sun was sinking low and the pastel colors dotted the sky, her family began to worry about her. As darkness covered the land, they set out to search for the young girl. They gathered together their kerosene lanterns as the farm hands readied the mule and wagon. Her father walked along along with the other men as her mother drove the wagon. There was no sign of her or her buggy. Reaching the neighboring farm, they were told she never arrived. The neighboring families got their lanterns and joined the search. Her family searched back to their farm in hopes that she had returned. The other family searched down the other end of the road. The following morning, a farmer crossing the bridge heard a faint call for help. It sounded like a young girl. As he dismounted his mule, following the sound of the voice, he discovered the battered young girl lying in a ditch. Recognizing her and realizing that she was dead, not being able to take her with him, he wrapped her in his coat and hurried to tell her family. The family and the farmer, returning with their wagon, took her lifeless body back to the farm. The following day, a funeral was held for her as she was laid to rest, or so they thought. Many people passing over the bridge have reported hearing a girl calling for help. I'm James Ebert, standing on Looney's Bridge, Johnsonville, South Carolina. Due to road construction and weather issues, this episode had to be shot on three separate days. That explains the difference in the lighting that you will see.